Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to my channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing good. Today's video is going to be about a fragrance that's starting to pick up quite a lot of hype in the community. It comes from the house of Zimaya and it's called Sharaf the Club. Now this fragrance is uh, one that's heavily inspired by Creed Aventus. But be before you buy into the hype, uh, please watch this video because today I'm going to show you the packaging. I'm going to tell you how this smells, how it performs, how much I paid for it. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you my honest opinion on whether Shar of the Club from Zimaya is actually worth checking out. As usual, I'll start by showing you the packaging and the presentation of Shar of the Club. It comes packaged in this uh, very nice looking uh, black colored box with golden accents. And for some reason, the base of the box is uh, in dark blue color rather than the, you know, the rest of it in black. Uh, on the front, you got the name of the fragrance, the concentration, EDP, the bottle size 100 milliliters. On the top, you got the name of the brand, you know, Zimaya. Again, on the back, Zimaya and Sharaf blend. And on the bottom, there's some additional information along with a stamp of the production date, which in this case is uh, August of 2023. It's a really nice presentation. You open up the box like this and the fragrance sits inside uh, and it also has magnetic edges. And in fact, this is a very similar packaging to the one that, uh, you know, to the one of uh, Sharaf blend. And then once you open up the box, this is how the bottle looks. Again, very, very uh, reminiscent of Shar of the Club. But here you have, uh, you know, Shar of the Club comes in a transparent bottle. And this one has this sort of an, uh, blacked out uh, glass. Uh, the cap is uh, plastic, but it uh, feels of uh, enough quality and also is a very snug fit. And a nice touch is uh, this, uh, you know, the brand of Zimaya name. Uh, written across the engraved and cross across uh, the atomizer all in all the presentation and the packaging is really really no nice breakdown of shot of the club that i was able online to find online has the following notes the top notes are apple blackcurrant pink pepper and bergamot the middle notes are jasmine pineapple and patchouli and the base notes are oak moss cedarwood birch and ambergris i'll show you the spray in action and then i'll tell you what i pick up from this fragrance the sprayer is pressurized and it's super super nice. One of the best uh, sprayers in a cheapy fragrance uh, that I've experienced so far. Now, as I said in the opening of uh, this video, this thing is uh, heavily inspired by Creed Aventus. The opening though is not very similar to Creed Aventus. This feels a lot fruitier and a lot fresher compared to Creed Aventus. In the opening of this fragrance, uh, I definitely pick up the blackcurrant note and I pick up a lot of uh, fresh apple note as well. The opening of this fragrance also kind of vaguely reminds me of something like uh, YEDP from YSL. You know, it's a similar kind of apple note that uh, Zimaya have used. I don't pick up much of spiciness in the opening of this fragrance and I thought pick up a touch of okmos uh, from the opening once this starts to dry down on the dry down some of that freshness some of that fruitiness starts to go away this becomes a little bit more woody uh, slightly darker the okmos note uh, starts to become a lot stronger definitely pick up uh, you know some of that birch but still this uh, remains uh, you know all in all kind of a freshy fragrance uh, f f sweet freshy fruity fragrance that has a sort of an, a distant relationship to Crete Aventus. And now on to the main question of how close this actually is to Crete Aventus. And I would say that uh, that's why I didn't say in the opening of this video that this is a clone of Crete Aventus because I don't think uh, Zimaya tried to do a clone. They actually took that DNA and uh, you know did the interesting fruity twist uh, of, of that original DNA. This feels a lot more fruity, feels a lot more fresher, uh, also feels uh, kind of soapy. I get kind of soapy vibes uh, out of this fragrance. And the best way that I can, uh, you know, explain uh, what I mean is by imagining that, uh, just imagine that you get, uh, you know, a nice soap that's actually scented by the Creed Aventus scent profile. That's uh, the best way that I can describe how this one smells. Uh, it's fruitier, it's sweeter, it's fresher than Creed Aventus. It's sort of a, like a um, summer version, summertime version of Creed Aventus. When it comes to the performance, uh, this thing is an interesting fragrance. Uh, 
the total longevity on skin hasn't been like uh, very impressive because I forgot to mention one thing but this is supposed to be an X-ray de parfum concentration so the highest possible concentration and that usually means that the fragrances with that kind of uh, oil concentration la last for a long time on skin but unfortunately Shout of the Club has not been a great performer on my on my skin I get somewhere between seven and a half to maximum up to eight hours of performance on skin so uh, you know, above average, but not m more than that. Uh, but then again, this is a pretty loud fragrance and projects very nicely for the first about two hours. So performance wise, uh, I would say that uh, this is not a great performer. It's not very disappointing, but, uh, uh, you know, given the fact that this is extra the perform, I expected this to last longer. When it comes to the price tag, uh, you know, I picked this one uh, early on uh, before a lot of the hype, uh, but it was kind of hard to find. Uh, so I paid, I imported this from the UK and I paid roughly about uh, 35 pounds in order to get this fragrance, which will translate, I think, into something like $50 or so, which is a little bit above what I would consider a good deal for a clone fragrance, you know, a cheapie. But still, at the end of the day, not a very bad deal because uh, this uh, thing has interesting scent profile, you know, okay performance and comes really nicely packaged. When it comes to the versatility, this fragrance is uh, very, very versatile. Like with the original Creed Aventus, you know, which is a very versatile fragrance, I think this is even more versatile because it feels slightly more fruity, slightly more fresher. Uh, and as I said, it's like a summertime version of uh, Creed Aventus. This can be definitely worn all year round. Uh, and no matter the occasion, you can easily wear this one to the office. Uh, you can wear this one to the gym, uh, you know, to a date night, a night, night out with friends. Uh, it's a very, very versatile fragrance. And on to my final thoughts about Shara of the Club from Zimaya. Now, I'll be totally honest with you and I will tell you that I'm a little bit disappointed by this fragrance for a few reasons. Uh, but uh, I'll try to list, first of all, I'll tell you what are the, the uh, good things about this fragrance and what are the bad things about this fragrance, in my opinion. And I'll start with the good things. First of all, you get a very nice presentation, you know, Shara of the Club and Shara of Blend. Both of them comes very nicely, very luxuriously packaged. The bottles have a great quality to them. Pressure, you get pressurized atomizers, which are absolutely fantastic. One of the best in a cheapy fragrance. Uh, then also you get uh, a sort of a very versatile fragrance that uh, can work pretty much anytime, anywhere. Uh, that's a big plus for this particular scent. Uh, it's even more versatile, in my opinion, than the original Creed Aventus scent. Uh, also, this is also a very loud fragrance. So if you're looking for a fragrance that has strong projection for two hours, maybe even slightly over two hours, this can offer you that. And probably the best, the, the last thing that uh, is good about this fragrance is the fact that uh, because of the sweety fruit, the, the 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 fruity sweetness that you get with this fragrance, this uh, this is actually almost perfectly a unisex scent and can be worn by both girls and boys without any problem. If I have to tell you what I don't like about this fragrance, first of all, it will be the, the performance. Uh, as I said, it's not a bad performer, but I expected more out of this because this is uh, an extra day perform. And usually those uh, fragrances tend to last a little bit longer. I expected this to last maybe an hour or two extra over what it actually lasts on my skin. The second uh, problem that I find with this one is the price point. And the um, last problem that I find with Shara of the Club is uh, actually none of its uh, fault in particular, but it's about the original scent DNA. Now, the Creed Aventus DNA has been overplayed already at this point. You have hundreds of different clones, and uh, although Shara of the Club and Zimaya have done an interesting twist on the scent of this fragrance, I don't think it's uh, interesting enough, you know, different enough to all the other hundreds of clones of uh, Creed Aventus in order to for this one to actually stand uh, you know among the other the crowd of other um, clones. You already will own at least one good clone of uh, Creed Aventus uh, definitely I don't think you need Shar of the Club and uh, that's why this fragrance uh, will get a like from me simply because of the presentation and because I'm uh, at this point a big fan of uh, the House of Zimaya. But apart from that, uh, I can't really recommend this fragrance to anyone. And so guys, in today's video, I showed you an interesting alternative to Creed Aventus from the House of Zimaya called Sharaf the Club. I hope that you found this video interesting or useful. If you did, give it a like and I also hope that I'm going to see you in my next video. And until then, stay safe and bye bye.